Hi everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a tutorial on how to draw a chickadee using just a, your basic pencil. And I wanted to show you how much fun they are to incorporate into your journals. I feel like they give them a real handmade look and a real personal touch to your journals, especially if you're giving them away as gifts or even if you're selling them. So here is an example of a journal that I did a couple of days ago and I use it in the garden to do my sketches now that we have this wonderful warm weather. Um, and I just basically take my journal and my pencil and eraser and a pen and I just go out and I doodle. And they're quick, relatively quick sketches. Uh, sometimes I use my imagination and, and develop other kind of inspirations, but it's all about just going out there, sitting in the moment, enjoying the, the ser serenity of a garden and capturing little images that intrigue you. So for me, I, um, I was out there the other day and saw this chickadee and I thought he was really cute and he sat there long enough for me to sketch him. Uh, and I used a cone flower that was sitting uh, next to a jar in my house. Uh, it's not a real one, it's a fake one, but I wanted to doodle that as well. So it's really just having fun doing little sketches. This is a little birdhouse that my neighbor has. And uh, for every sketch that I do, I, I probably keep one and the rest go in the recycle bin. So it's it's not about trying to create a masterpiece every time you pick up the pencil. It's about enjoying the process and learning something new every time. Uh, so another way you can incorporate your sketches in your journals, uh, this one I did on a book page and uh, insert it into these little pockets. So it's a, one way. Another way is these inserts that I build that are ready to glue into a journal. So this one I put a little guy in, a little coffee dyed sketch. I find it just warms up a journal and it's a nice little surprise when you have something handmade, hand drawn, I should say, because our journals are pretty much handmade. Uh, here's uh, another idea. So this is a uh, master board is what I call them, where you, you kind of glue down all your bits and pieces to a piece of paper. And, uh, and this one, I incorporated one of my little sketches. So again, just fun ways to use them up and to incorporate them. So here's uh, some sketches that I did just on coffee dyed paper. You can see I've been doodling quite a bit. So I wanted to walk you through uh, how, to, how to draw it. So a lot, of people, a lot of people might be saying, I can't draw a bird. I have no idea. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. I hear that all the time when I teach. So what I try to do is take the pressure off by simplifying it into shapes as opposed to trying to draw a bird you're now just going to, to follow a pattern of shapes to develop the form of a bird. Uh, and once you kind of got this down and practiced it several times, you'll be able to change these shapes to incorporate the kind of bird you want to draw. So like a blue jay, for example, would have a much longer body. So that will come with practice. I would strongly recommend you have a reference of a photo of the kind of bird you're drawing beside you. So I can't draw without seeing it. I either have to see the bird in the tree or I have to have a picture of it. I can't draw from memory. So that's another little tip I would have for you guys. So let's uh, take a piece of paper here, I'll flip it over and let's draw. So normally I use an HB pencil, but it's a bit light for you guys to see. So I switched to a 7B pencil. These are Stedlers. I think they're German. I love these pencils. Uh, so 7B is very soft. So it will come up really dark on here and an eraser. That's pretty much all we're gonna need. So we're gonna start with our circle. So this circle will determine the size of the bird. If we do a really big circle, this is the head. So if we do a really big circle, we're gonna get a really big bird. So we'll just that's gonna come with practice and you'll be able to gauge what size you want after drawing them a few times. Then we're gonna give it a little triangle on the side, which is obviously the beak. And then we're gonna do another oval. So you can pause this video anytime you want and, and draw what I'm drawing. I hope you draw along with me. So I cross over into his head and then I just do an oval. So this oval should fit two of his heads in here. So if you can fit three, 
you're draw you're not drawing a chickadee anymore. You're drawing a different kind of bird. If you only fit one, it's not gonna it's not gonna be in proportion. So you want to be able to fit two of these circles into this body. That way, you know you have the right size. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the tail. So I'm just pretty much scoop around like this at this point. So already it kind of looks like a bird, which is nice. So the next thing we're gonna do is give it a little bit of detail. So we're going to now curve the edges. So we're gonna go up the beak, around the forehead, around the back of the head, down into his back. So what we've done here is we've curved these two circles and we've created the neck. And we're gonna do the same with the front and curve the front here. And now we've softened those two circles. The next thing we're gonna do is start adding a little bit of detail. So at this point, I would get you to erase all the inside lines because we don't need those anymore. So you can see he's kind of a little bit thin, but now we're gonna start building more of his form. So we're gonna put a little bit of detail in. So chickadees here in Ontario, um, I'm not much of a bird connoisseur, but uh, they have these little black caps. So what I do is I pull from the beak and I curve it up around his head. And then I'm gonna give him an eye, which is an oval right in that little dent. Okay, and they have these little black throats. So I'm gonna go in where his, they, we did that original curve and give myself a triangle. The next thing I'm gonna do is form his wing. So he has this little short flight wing, I guess it is, and underneath is the full extended wing. So I curve this line and then I create this kind of triangle shape. It's kind of hard to describe. That's why it's nice to be able to pause, um, pause your uh, video and kind of sketch it out to get what you're looking for. And the next thing we're gonna do is some lines here. Fill in his feathers. We're just basically implying the feather marks. We're not gonna go into real strong detail. We just wanna capture the form of the bird. And then we're going to give him a tail now. So we're gonna fill in the dark, fill that, line, that shape in dark. There's his tail. And I like to give them a little bit of a fat belly. So I'm going to erase this line here, this half of the circle well oval that we started with and I'm just going to scoop his belly down just a little bit more. I like to give them big bellies especially in the winter where they've got those nice furry coats, furry bushy feathers. Okay so let's start coloring him in. So for the eye I fill in my semi I mean, a tiny little circle and I leave a tiny little white space and then I draw a line around the eye like this and hopefully you guys can see, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit here, my primitive setup. Hopefully that helped. Um, my camera's shaking. There we go. And I'm going to fill in his eye like this. I'm gonna leave his beak white on the top. And what I like to do is just leave an indication of a little bit of white around his eye. And now I'm gonna do his throat, just fill in his throat. And then I can start puffing him up. So I'm gonna give him some feathers. So I stroke them back like this because it's the direction they grow in. What? And I'm going to soften and give him some feathers down his uh, throat here into his chest. Darken up some lines here with the wings are. I'm going to fill out his back just a little bit more. Like I said, I want him bushy. Soften out that curve. So it's the same curve we did before. I'm just filling it out a little bit more. Fill it. Just give yourself a little bit of pencil marks in here. Try to imply some feathers. I want to make sure I get his beak right. So they have these tiny little rounded beaks. So if you make his beak too big, you can either make his head and body a little bigger or you can erase it. See that I made that too big now, that looks more like a parrot. So I'm gonna erase it and just do that triangle again. So this these fat pencils that I'm using are a little bit harder to uh, 
get a nice thin line. So if you're using a nice HB, it will work perfect. And fill out his chest a little. Need to make his, make sure I capture his shape of his head. And I'm just filling out, feathering it out. So he has some big feathers. I put a little bit of shading under here. Remember, these are just little thumbnail sketches. You're just trying to capture and learn to capture the form of him without stressing about too much detail. And now we've got to give him some legs. So we've got to figure out where his legs would go. So in this case, I'm going to put him perched on the branch. So I'm going to give him three little lines right here where you just see the indication of his foot. And then you're gonna give him a line coming down out of his belly. And then again, a line and a line. And you're basically building this kind of funny looking fork. So you have these three little legs, the three little claws that hook on, and then they have a back claw that would hook on behind the branch that we don't see. And what I find with um, the legs is, as soon as you draw them, you'll be able to tell if they're in the right spot or the wrong spot because they'll look funny. So you can, again, just erase them and change their direction. So let's do a branch. So the branch would come out from underneath his belly here that he's perched on and through his, through his leg. And again, lots of practice, playing with it, enjoying what you're doing. Some of them you're gonna love, some of them you're gonna throw in the recycle bin. I've been drawing for years and I still produce things I'm not happy with and I just toss them out. But I'm always learning something new. I'm learning something new about my style and my technique um, and what I'm drawing, how I observe things. That's all part of the process. I'm just going to take back some of that dark line I made back here. It's, so the HB pencil is really soft and it's making things a little bit darker than I like. <laughs> so let me just redo this a little bit because I don't want you to do them that dark back there. Put the detail of the wings back in. Because he doesn't have, he only has the black on the top of his cap. It doesn't go everywhere. There we go. There's our little chickadee. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it gave you some ideas. Um, some insight on how to do little sketches step by step and if there's anything you do want me to show you how to draw or um, things you'd like me to develop further just let me know subscribe to the channel for more videos uh, next I'd like to do some watercolors with you guys and show you how to do quick little thumbnail sketches in watercolor so I've got a couple of tutorials coming up but please leave in the comments anything you would like to see and I'll be happy to share it with you. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.